Welcome to the Marvelous Designer Introduction Series. In this series, we will cover the different methods of basic garment creation and getting started in Marvelous Designer. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the 3D Line Avatar tool to make a basic garment. To make it easier to follow along with the lesson, please reset your user settings or make sure your mouse presets are on the three button or regular mouse. If you do not know how to change your settings, please watch our UI video first. For those using Marvelous Designer 9.5 and above, we have grouped more tools together for a cleaner user interface. Please long press the left mouse button on the tool to view a list of all of the tools in the tool group. To begin, I go up to the Library tab, choose the Avatar folder, choose the Mail B folder, and double click the Mail B avatar to import him into the workspace. And I can close the Library tab. Now that my avatar is input into the workspace, I will be working exclusively in the 3D window for the majority of the drafting. So I'm going to go to the bottom right hand corner and select 3D window only. This closes the 2D window and gives me more space to work in the 3D window. There are three options in the toolbar. The first one is the edit line avatar tool. This allows me to edit my line after I've already placed it on my avatar. The second one is the Line Avatar tool itself, which allows me to draw on my avatar. And the third is the Flatten option. With Flatten, I can take the pattern that I've drawn on the avatar itself and bring it into the 2D window as a 2D pattern that I can then edit afterwards. To start drafting, I select the Line Avatar tool, and I draw a line on his center front, about where his neck ends, and click and create a straight segment line, holding shift down to about his waist. Holding shift makes it a straight line, and then clicking to finish that segment line with a segment point. I will continue to use the left click to go around the waist to approximately his side and draw another straight line to his underarm. using control to create curve points as we create the armhole. Then drawing across the torso in an angle to where the collar will be. And finishing the front pattern piece with a slight curve in my line, closing the shape and continuing on to create the back neck. Continuing to use control for curves, and finishing at the spine with a segment point. Then holding shift down the spine to the waist and finishing the line to the side seam. After that, we will finish the armhole, making a line similar to that of the front, using control to make any curves if necessary. And if you make mistakes, just use the backspace key to take one step back. Next, we're moving on to the sleeve. So we're starting off with the shoulder, creating a curve line where necessary, and making sure to put a segment point on the top of the shoulder. Then doing our best to create as straight of a line as we can, down to the wrist, and finishing that in the wrist cuff. As we finish the wrist cuff, you may notice that you struggle creating perfect lines across the arm. This is because the topology is quite complex and it's very difficult to make a perfectly straight line. So we can always edit this in the pattern in the 2D window at a later point. After that, we're going to do the same thing with the underarm or the under portion of the sleeve, starting from the underarm, going up and around the armpit, and then meeting the sleeve cuff that we've already created creating a front and a back pattern piece. Next, we are going to go to the Edit Line tool and right-clicking on the center front line, we are choosing Flatten as Straight Line. This will make sure that these lines flatten as perfectly straight lines. Doing the same with the side seams and the center back. As you saw, we could not do it with the top of the arm. This is because it has a curve point in it, and that is perfectly fine. We will edit it in the 2D window after this. Then going ahead and choosing Flatten and highlighting all of the areas of our pattern. 
and hitting the Enter button. This then turns those lines into pattern pieces. So we can go ahead and open the dual windows and reorient our pattern pieces in the 2D window so that they are vertically aligned with the shadow. And we can also rotate our patterns by choosing right click, rotate, choosing Y axis, and then selecting the center back and center front lines. Then we're going to do some cleanup work using the edit pattern tool. We can go ahead and delete those excess segment points on the wrist. And then we can move on to editing our curves and smoothing them out utilizing the smooth curve tool. This tool allows you to select two different segment points and then a line in between them and use that straight line to create a brand new curve line to work from. Starting with the back sleeve, then the front sleeve, the underarm, on both the front and the back, and the center front neck. Cleaning up the center front neck, making sure it's as square as possible, and same with the center back. We can straighten the lower portion of the sleeve pattern by using the edit pattern tool, right clicking and choosing delete all curve points. This makes this straight and at this point, if you wanted, you could merge these pattern pieces into one pattern. But in this case, I'm just going to leave it so I have two separate pattern pieces. Then, because we did true it up and we did lose some space horizontally in these patterns, I am just shifting them over by one point or one arrow. And now we can go ahead and check the sewing relationships with the Edit Sewing Tool or the B hotkey making sure that they do exist and sewing them in place if they are needed. We can see that we do have all of our sewing relationships. I can then go back to the transform pattern tool, select all of them and choose symmetric pattern with sewing. This makes a duplicate with all of that same sewing information for the other side. All we need to do after that is use the segment sewing tool to sew the fronts together and the back pattern pieces together. Then we can go ahead and simulate and check the fit. Because this is supposed to be a knit shirt, so it's okay if it fits tight in places. Feel free to play around and pull at the shirt that you just made, especially in spots where it might be colliding with the avatar. That's perfectly fine. Now all we have to do is lengthen the hem, so we can use the edit pattern tool, select the hem for the front and the back and shift to drag them down. And this lengthens the shirt. And we can just pull it out of the avatar if, if it's colliding with him. Now all we need is to apply some elastic to the collar. We can use the edit pattern tool to select all of our neckline pieces, then going to the property editor we can choose elastic and make the ratio 90. And we have a raglan knit t-shirt. We can go ahead and turn off simulation and save it as file, save as garment. I'm going to lessons and I'm going to make a new folder titling this 3D line. And name this 3D line tool raglan sleeve. And that is how to make a basic garment using the 3D line avatar tool. Here are the links to the next videos in this tutorial series. The order does not matter, but we do recommend watching all of these tutorials as they will feature different methods of beginning creation of basic blocks, which you will use later in the tutorial series. If you liked this video, hit the like button below and subscribe for more. 
If you have any questions about getting started in Marvelous Designer or this lesson, please leave a comment below and we will do our best to answer your questions. If you want more information on Marvelous Designer, check out our website, forum, and official Discord channels, which are all linked in the description box below.